some of the favorite TAMFAM hustlers out there, and the party is getting started. Oh, boy. I mean, I don't even know where to start with this introduction. Jody Watley <laughs> is a Grammy award-winning, multi-platinum selling artist and one of the architects of pop R&B dance music. Jody is a trailblazer who shattered the glass ceiling in a male-dominated industry, all while rocking hoops and looking amazing. You know, Jody got a, she has a brand new single, Everlasting, that she's gonna perform in the show. But before we hear the performance, somebody I have adored from afar for so many, many, many years, please welcome Billboard's greatest of all time, Hot 100 women artist, Jody Watley! <laughs> Like, uh, all of the accolades, you still walk out rocking red, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and people just, it's a party every time we see you. It's a blessing, and I have nothing but gratitude and joy, and I never take it for granted, and um, it's a blessing, and I appreciate the love. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> so, I, I was just... Me and the team putting together all of these accolades that qualify you undisputed as an icon. Grammy winning multi-platinum selling artist. Six, count them, six Billboard Hot 100 top 10 singles. 13 number one dance songs. A Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I. I, you know, I, I have to say that um, before I reply to that, being here is just incredible. My mom, who passed away a year and a half ago, and I love you so much. And um, when I came on the first time, we were during the pandemic lockdown, and she was, her thing was, you just need to be on her show. I don't know why you haven't been on the show. <laughs> so I'm so happy that she was able to see me be on your show. And I know right now oh. she's up in heaven like, all right, you better go, girl. Thank like, because, I you. mean, we watch your show together. We have lunch together. And so I'm just so honored and I'm just joyful that, because I know she had something to do with me being here to have this conversation oh in God. person. Thank you. You know. Thank you. You know, I, and it's, that means the world to me. <laughs> that's a lyric of a song <laughs> that you have. Uh, it means the world to me because, as I said, you know, watching you evolve into your independent artist. I mean, I am 53. When Shalamar, you know, and then I said, Jody's going on her own. <laughs> and I was like, it was for me as a young woman to watch you go on your own yeah. and then carve out style. Be, I mean, you were literally a supermodel who could yeah. sing. Thank you. Did you, I, Thank looking you. back at that, did you, did you recognize the power that you were presenting? Not at the time, no, but I... Because that looks like you knew. <laughs> I mean, you know... <laughs> that looks like you knew. I've always believed in myself, and um, my parents instilled that in me, to It's okay to be different. It's okay to be yourself. And, you know, I've been a solo artist for... Um, almost 41 years now. And so to have the, the yeah. longevity, yeah. and when I look at her, I'm like, well, she's badass, I'm <laughs> badass. But you, like so many other greats, you made your greatness undeniable. So no one yeah. could keep you out. No yeah, one could keep you true. out. that's true. It's like God's plan is bigger than yeah. any negativity that we may encounter. Yeah. And, um, and like I said, I know who I am, I was yeah. born to do this. I, I call it wattage, it's like the light. The, the light wattage. that I was born to stand in as Jody Watley. Yeah. And uh, no one can take that No from one me, can ever. take it. I gotta tell you too, you know, when we started this show, I said, 
fashion is a weapon. And so we were very intentional about fashion on this show. I know people think, oh, she just, no, we were like, we're going to slay all day, every day. <laughs> and, and that was do. a very intentional plan. <laughs> um, you know, Johnny changing my hair. When we launched the show, they went out and they bought every hoop earring from Canal Street <laughs> on. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I look at the fashion weapon. I mean, you were doing something with your hair, with your wardrobe. Um, and we go back to the start on Soul Train, and we actually have a clip. Look at you. <laughs> Look, there you are. Get... <laughs> Look and, at you. And, and, you know, and, and it's funny with the hoop earrings. Yeah. I started wearing them in junior high school, actually. I don't know, it's like, and they got bigger over time. <laughs> But on Soul Train, you know, yeah. 14, 15, I just wanted to stand out. You and were 14 so, and 15 on mm -hmm. the show then? Yeah, I didn't realize so, that. So again, the, the trajectory, yeah. which ties into Everlasting, it's like to, to persevere yeah. and to be myself. And with the handheld fans, which all the girls, now you see everybody. I was going like to ask fans. you about that. You, and, were, you um, were rocking the fan yeah. and the hoops. I mean, I look at, over the years, the early pictures on Soul Train, and then later with the bigger hoops. We used to, at my school, we'd say, I'm wearing Jody Watley's. Yeah, that, Jody That's Watley's. what we would say. We would, yeah. People would have on hoops. We didn't call them hoops. We were like, I'm rocking my Jody Watley's. Because yes. you became the description <laughs> of a hoop so big, it was bigger than your head. Yes. Um, <laughs> now, disco renaissance. People now are dressing like you all dressed on Soul Train back then. What do you think of this, this everlasting, going back to the performance that we have coming up? this everlasting renaissance, which you were a part of. Again, it's just a blessing to, uh, to still be here, like you said, to be a woman, uh, to be a black woman in an industry that is always really quick to, you know, cast us aside, but to always be determined. And so when I see things, it's like, wow, you know, everything comes back around yeah. again. Did you yeah. keep any of the looks? Can I come visit? I yeah. just, <laughs> I just want to, like, about two people's closets I want to go in, yours and Diana Ross. And I just want to live. I just want to live in both of your closets. That's on my last yeah. day on TV. If they don't surprise me with going in your in closet, closet and Diana Ross's closet, this will all be for nothing. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. And I, I was going to wear my jumbo hoops today, and I'm like, no. I'm, it may not go with what I'm giving. Oh, yes, yes. 